Hey folks, how are you doing? So, another update. Cut out, cut in the lock. Actually, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. It wasn't all that bad, you know. I mark the mark the end, mark the corner, make the cut with the bandsaw, and uh, drill, drill these two holes, the corner one and the end one, and then I took a dremel and like a diamond wheel, and made a like a nice groove. So my drill, the drill bit, would grab in the exact location where I wanted to, and then just I, I just drilled hole next to hole next to hole, then took bunch of like different uh, diamond wheels and uh, de uh, bearing, de bearing wheels and uh, carbide tips for the Dremel, and like cut it through and it wasn't bad. I mean, it took about an hour, I guess, and uh, but the only thing is. It's if I if I spring the if I spring the the lock the lock bar you see I did actually pretty big relief cut here it's still it's still pretty stiff and I think my tank on this blade on this titanium bl uh, blade is a little short or maybe I cut the this cut a little too close to the pivot and when I have the detent ball it kind of let me show you so make leave it in, it it's engaged now and now you open it and now it goes you see it falls the lock falls into the cut in here I don't know uh, I'll probably just use it like this for now kinda like a friction folder but with kinda like a detent <laughs> it's pretty cool I mean it works but it works horrible if I do spring that lock the way it's supposed to you know it's almost unbearable to open and uh, uh, close. You really need like a <laughs> like a pry bar. <laughs> Was opening with with this, but like the mechanics work. But uh, there is something wrong with the. I suspect that it's the lock, the not lock, the back of the tank. You know the tank, the inside portion, that kind of doesn't want to cooperate with the way the lock is done and the way the Deaton ball is. And uh, still titanium. <laughs> I even got it charged just for the shits and giggles. Actually, I didn't. I have to probably touch it up. No point even. Uh, it looks beautiful. I like how it looks. Uh, the lock came out pretty decent. It's not bad cut for doing it by hand. Let me show you close up. Like I said, not that bad. You see little niblets here and there. But by doing it by hand, it actually isn't all that bad, you know. This isn't a line of like where it doesn't really matter how it looks and you just hide it underneath the scale. This is kind of thick. And it was big. I didn't think it's going to be that easy. I mean, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't definitely not even close to as bad as I expected to be, you know, being a quarter inch titanium. And uh, actually, even if I tighten, tighten the screw a little bit, the pivot, or if I relieve the stress from the from the lag bar all all the way, it actually is even centered. So because I fixed that, the I just had to ream out the hole, the quarter inch hole in the in the blade, and insert the bushing again correctly, and uh, it's all aligned. So everything is good, but it's just not perfect the way. That's what I was talking about yesterday. The tolerances, and actually you have to put a fair amount of thought. I didn't really. I just did like you know like. I figure like, whatever I do I will make it work but I might well, maybe when I redo the blade maybe when I put a different blade there and do it a little differently and maybe just drum out a little bit or cut sand down a little bit of this to move that locking surface back that might help too as for now it's probably just a little let's call it a friction folder with the detent <laughs> hope you enjoyed guys let me know what you think there isn't really it's can't really give me advice because you can it's hard you would somebody who really understand this mechanism would have to actually look at it take it apart and see what's going on but I might be I think I will be able to fix it somehow uh, stone washed it a little bit did the grind on the on the blade it actually come out pretty sweet that grind did it like that so I left that flats on the top I like how it looks it's really cool so, eh, like I say, it was and it still is pretty big challenging project. 
<laughs> it just sucks that lately I <laughs> try a couple different new things and burn out on all of them. <laughs> kind of bummed out. Gotta do something what I know how to do good and well and, uh, you know, to boost the moral a little bit. So hopefully over the weekend. By the way, since I have you here, I'm gonna give you a little teaser. I did the handle on Robbie's knife today. And uh, I'm gonna edit the video together. The handle making. It came out pretty sweet. This is that Guy Carta Superman color, like uh, yellow, blue, and red. And it's pretty sweet. And actually, now with the handle scales, this handle is pretty damn comfortable. Comf comfortable. It's nice in the regular grip. You can even choke up on this with the overhand grip. And back here, that bulb on the end is amazing. You get really good purchase on it. Like, like kind of like a parang style, you know, or uh, some of those. Latin machetes, they have that bulb on the end, mostly parangs, and it's actually really nice secure grip on it, kind of like a hammer grip I would call it, or a pistol grip, with uh, very good security in it. You probably won't have much, much control chopping, but you can do really serious power chops with this grip. So, blade is coming along, it's funky colors, but it's pretty cool actually, came out pretty nice. Guy is doing pretty good job with his colors and with his micarta. I'm not the biggest fan of the paper carta because it's a little smooth but uh, you can definitely get some cool colors in it. So hope you enjoyed guys. Let me know what you think. Enjoy the weekend. Take care. Stay safe and remember don't cut yourself.